Hello, welcome to a Balanced Body Podcast. My name is Dr. Brent Anderson. I'm here at Polestar Pilates and Physical Therapy Center in Miami. And I am a physical therapist specializing in performing arts and also in Pilates for rehabilitation. And it's a beautiful mix. Uh, when we're working with dancers in particular, I wanted to talk a little bit about the foot, ankle, intrinsic work and a little bit about the proprioception and how we focus on deceleration or should focus on deceleration more than we focus on acceleration. Uh, when we look at the anatomy of the leg, one of the things we look for in, uh, when we're talking about jumping is we often talk about the strength of the gastrocnemius to push off of the leg. And it is a two joint muscle. When the knee's extended, it does push off and it helps us jump. But more importantly, when we land, the knee's actually bending and the deceleration takes place with another muscle that's known as the soleus. And that's really what we're going to be concentrating on with these two particular exercises. As a dancer becomes more keen and aware of decelerating and using that soleus correctly, we can minimize a lot of injuries that happen to the flexor hallucis longus, to the posterior tibialis, as well as to any of the foot intrinsic injuries that are very common in the dance population. So let's take a look at one of the most basic Pilates exercises seated on the chair. And I'm going to ask Jamie just to start off with some gentle leg presses and pushing down. And of course, I have the stick in place right now. I'm just asking her to move through that range of motion, keeping the ankle in a neutral position. And I'm going to do a little sneaky trick and just pull this dowel out that makes the pedals independent of each other. It's a unique feature of the balanced body equipment. Been around for many years. But by removing that stick, it creates, obviously, a challenge to maintain the symmetry between the two legs. And now I'm going to ask you to be even a little more challenging. I'm going to actually put that dowel up on top of her legs, keep them horizontal, and ask her just to plantar flex and dorsiflex the ankles. Now, by just doing the ankles like this without the control really requires a very high level of proprioception. And it might look easy, but give it a try and see what you find out with you as well as with your dancers in this deceleration. Other things I'd like to take a look at is the alignment itself. So we're looking to see is the knee over the ankle over the second toe as she plantar flexes. And now I can even ask her to do an alternating one. So push both feet into point, Jamie, and let one foot come up and then push it down while the other foot comes up. Exactly, keeping the stick even on both sides. That's right, beautiful. So again, make it as challenging as you like. The idea really is to get that nice deceleration, smooth deceleration training. Now the next variation on this is a little bit more advanced and it's in standing. I'm gonna have Jamie just stand up next to the machine. Come off of the chair here, Jamie. And step up onto the wood, there we go, good. Now on this one, she's going to rest her knee on top of the chair, and she actually is going to anchor it. And that's why it's okay to bring your other foot up on top of the wood. You're not going to smash your toes, as we often teach the precaution. But here the alignment's very important. And I'm going to have to do the same thing. So she's going to push down. Now the springs are double, because we didn't change them. And I like to take twice as long to come up with the spring than we did to push down. So she's going to push down and then come up nice and slow. And you can see that shaking. That shaking is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It just represents that she needs to train those decelerators a little bit more. That's also how her body would react when she's landing out of her jumps and she's going to hit that floor hard. We hear that often in dancers. They'll, they'll jump and you hear a boom, boom, boom. And that pounding sound means that they're not decelerating well. And they're more likely to have shin splints or stress fractures or other common injuries of the dancer's foot and ankle. This is Dr. Brent Anderson bringing you a tip of working with dancers and dancers' feet on the Pilates equipment. Look forward to seeing you at the next Balanced Body Podcast.